Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your boy, Cold Blue Opinions, coming back at you. Another one of his opinions coming from his motherfucking bunker. Now, uh, Brandon Buckingham just dropped a video. And while I'm not going to be talking about the video in length, I'm not even finished with it all. Because, I mean, the video, it's a long-ass video. The shit's about the same length as Dark Knight. So it's its going to be, you know, it's a lot to talk about. And you know, I'm very limited on, on, on my, my video length. However, I decided to go to his Twitter. I, 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 I saw something worrisome on Reddit, and this is uh, it's a little worrisome. <laughs> Let's put it like that. So let me get right into it. So he's on his Twitter, and I mean, if you go down the timeline, he's just going to talk. He has like a picture of mayonnaise, and he says the dark truth about Sneeko's processing. Somebody tell that little boy I got the mayo ready. That's a reference to like some beef he had in the past with somebody else, and he sprayed him with mayo, and then the dude lied, blah, blah, blah. So, like, he's trying to, you know, obviously he's doing it as symbolic because Sneeko lied and he's saying that this is the mer metaphorical, I guess, I don't know, male? That he, I don't fucking know. But, yeah. And then he's saying don't take Sneeko's red pills. All right, I mean, it's not it's not too bad. I mean, one of the points he was making was that Sneeko is a fake red piller and he's not actually red pill. He's not an alpha male and this and that. Even though Sneeko doesn't say he's an alpha male, he doesn't care about masculinity. I don't think that he's an alpha male at all. Uh, I've never thought that. And <laughs> far from it. Now, I will say, there is something about that video that I will want to talk about because I did not know this. And this is extremely worrisome. Then he's calling uh, Sneeko a snake. That's interesting. Um, is he? I, look, I just watched the video. I'm not, gonna, I'm not so quick to make conclusions on things. I need time to think. I do sneak, think that Sneeko can be fickle on certain things, and I do find I do find it weird that sometimes the way that he may speak about people can be a little bit. I I, I if I were friends with Sneeko, and then he went and he spoke about me the way that he speaks about certain people that are his friends on live, I wouldn't be very happy about it. You know, like the whole mocking thing and all this and that. And but one moment you're saying this, sometimes he does that, and I I've never was a big fan of it, but I never thought to call him a snake i think it's an interesting take it requires more thought by me for me to make a conclusive he is a snake or not you know especially with the whole video i just made about jordan welsh and everything how jordan welsh is a snake and the things that andrew was saying I, I really do have to think about that though that is in question uh but i'm not gonna say anything conclusively and then he says like the dark then he posted the, the link to his video so i did watch his video and i watched it right when he dropped it so then it started playing on my computer however i tried to open it up on my phone because somebody said that the video was not working and it, it is not working on my phone and it still isn't so that that's very interesting however if you scroll up and i'm actually i'm not going to look at the image again but he says nsfw so, sorry after falsely accusing me of threatening to r word his girlfriend and stating i cannot handle gay jokes i found public photographs online of Sneeko ma it, masturbating, I'm gonna just say it, in front of what I assume to be a gay photographer, I'd love to know the story behind why these photos exist. Now, nah, look, I, I, fuck, wait, why did I, why did I, why did I open it? Okay, no, I'm not gonna lie. It is, a, it is a photo of Sneeko and he's butt naked and he's, he's, he's gripping, he's gripping his, his cock, bro. He's gripping his thing, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. And what I will say is, I don't really think that the context matters. I believe that this is revenge porn. I'm actually going to look up the definition. And I think you're going a bit too far with that, bro. I don't care if there are public images. Uh, let me see. What's the law on revenge porn? Uh, let's see. In 2015, the state of Illinois confronted revenge porn issues head on. Penalties of convicted. Okay, what? let's see. What is... Okay. What is... We're about to find out what it is because I... I, I Let's see. Revenge porn is the distribution of sexually explicit images or videos of individuals without their consent. The material may have been made by a partner in an intimate relationship with the knowledge and consent of the subject at the time. Or it may have been without the... Okay, so it, it seems like they has to... I guess in this context, it's not considered revenge porn because they were publicly taken and put out. I, I don't... I don't know. I mean, why are these... Why are those images even put out, though? That That's weird, Sneeko. Like, that's what I mean. That's why I don't think he's alpha male because... I think Sneeko's very lost in a lot of shit that he does. He's lost his father definitely one million percent fucking one million percent he feel. How come you've never heard Sneeko ever talk about what his dad taught him or his dad this or that? Never ever. I've never heard anything about his dad whatsoever. And 
anyone who has a dad with his head screwed on who is a good mentor and a respectable man would not do anything like this you would never fucking take pictures butt naked with your dick out online for everyone to see that is a you, that is not something you do regardless though at the end of the day i don't think that this is the best thing that he could have done regardless of whether it's technically not revenge porn or not i don't think that it's good for you to post pictures online of sneeko being butt naked for whatever reason like okay we get it he said one time that you he you you were gonna he said that you said you were gonna rape his girlfriend i get it you're mad about that everything else is fine exposing that he's a liar for that everything cool but then to go and be like showing his pictures butt naked it kind of i mean one the fact that you even brought his girlfriend into the beef in the first place i don't regardless of whether she's a whore or not and i'm gonna get into that in a second regardless of whether she's a whore or not it, it it's still not necessary you do not bring women into a conflict that the women had nothing to do with i don't think that's just lame to me but then on top of that you're going and you're posting pictures of him naked online it's just a little bit weird and that's kind of something that i think like a, a mad ex-girlfriend would do maybe like when you're in high school or maybe like some chick whose father failed her but definitely not a grown man who i i would trust in any way so i, I think that both of you guys your, your character is in question here now to bring up the whole girlfriend thing i did not have context to the, the full context of the situation in which he was on um what is it playback in lowe's podcast and he was talking about the time that his girl smashed another person in front of him what i thought the context was and this is what i heard from someone else what i thought the context was was that she was uncomfortable with it and about like two or three pumps in sneeko stopped and he was like all right this isn't cool that's what i thought apparently that's just the first time that it happened and he came back afterwards and she kept on getting smashed now the thing is she wasn't uncomfortable after that supposedly i guess i don't know because he was talking about how she was grabbing a dude by like the back of the neck and then she was like, I want you to fuck. She wanted it. She wanted it. She was saying, I want you to fuck me. She liked it. She was liking you. So to me, that's just a bad look. I'm, I'm a big perpetrator in believing that if a girl's truly in love with a man and she truly admires him, she does not look at any other man in that way and she would never even want that. The fact that she, and Sneeko said it himself in the interview. So he said that she just likes dick in general. So she likes to get different dicks. The fact that she would even want different dicks. She don't love you, bro. She don't. I know you said you love her, but she don't love you, bro. If she's doing that, she doesn't. She doesn't. And it, it, it's just, yeah, no. I mean, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna put stuff out there into the world that I don't know 100. percent But those things, I there was something I saw recently when he was on live, and it's it now looks a little questionable. Yeah, I'm gonna just say it. Look, when 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 she went off on him because she was in New York and he had some chick in the living room, it's like, what are you? And they have an open relationship. What are you? What are you calling him? Embarrassing him on live for? You why? There's a lot of stuff wrong with it. Why are you letting her travel alone? For one. Two, why is why is she out here going off on you for having a chick in the house when you supposedly have an open relationship with her? It should be fine. And why is she embarrassing you in life? Why is it so urgent? Why is she what is she doing? Usually when stuff like that happens, it's because it's a, a level of ga like gaslighting, but it's like manipulation and they're they're guilty. They they're projecting, right? So when I saw that, I was like, that's a little bit weird. And she's out in New York by herself right now. Why is she doing that? Why is she, you know, and now that I hear this, I'm like, yo, dog, I, he, he, look, he, he better just pack his bags. Like, make her pack it, make her pack her bags. I don't even know why you moved in with her, bro. But quit while you're ahead because you're, you live with her right now. She could ruin your life. All it takes is you to accidentally slip up, get her pregnant, and that's the beginning of the end, bro. My advice, dead it, dead the whole relationship. Get with that one chick, Nicole, who you was talking to on uh, the live with like that girl uh, from Destiny's friend and all that, that's a college chick. Get with that chick. She's a lot less of a risk than her. A lot less of a risk. You might have to deal with the fact that she sucked a few meats in the past, but you don't really care about that. So, I mean, the chick's a virgin. She... She can, she, she's a feminine girl. You don't got to worry about her being like... She has principles to a degree. A lot more than Maria. So, I, I honestly, I think it'll be an upgrade. But, yeah, no. Um, this whole thing, it's just... It's, it's wild. I mean, I don't want to make another video on it. I'm going to continue watching that video, but I don't want to make another video on it. Because it's just... It's just drama. And it's, it's pointless, like, drama. But this stuff... I wanted to be able to speak on it because I thought there were some interesting things to take away when it when it comes to talking about the people's character. 
and certain things that are questionable. If there is anything else I can take from it, I may make a video on it. But this this is all just uh, so just a bad look for everybody, man. But uh, yeah, I'm out. Peace.